I am Dr. Kavita Chintala, Clinical Director and Senior Pediatric International Cardiologist at KR Hospitals, Hyderabad. What is an atrial septal defect? In this video, we will try and address this topic. An atrial septal defect is one of the congenital heart diseases. A congenital heart defect is a defect that is present at birth. So it is an anomaly that is present before birth. Atrial septal defect is a hole in the heart between the upper chambers of the heart. So the two upper chambers are called left atrium and right atrium and the wall between these two chambers is called the atrial septum. So when we see a hole there, we call it an atrial septal defect. Now there are four kinds of atrial septal defect depending on the location of the ASD, but they are all uh, present in the wall between the two chambers. Now what is the cause for an ASD? Like almost all the congenital heart diseases, the cause is usually multifactorial, meaning no single identifiable cause may be evident in one particular family. Among the identified reasons are genetic causes like a single gene defect or a number of uh, chromosomes may be abnormal or they may be an underlying genetic syndrome. Now ASD very commonly we see when there is an associated genetic syndrome in the child. The other possible causes that may contribute to its causation are environmental factors such as uh, air pollution, water pollution and pesticide exposure and certain uh, drug exposure can cause ASD and certain maternal factors like presence of you know rubella infection in pregnancy, the mother taking some over the counter medications, mother having diabetes or phenylketonuria may also be exposed to increased risk of all congenital heart defects in addition to atrial septal defect. Now in recent times we've noticed that presence of uh, obesity and artificial reproductive technology also increases the heart defects. Now atrial septal defect is uh, characteristic for it being present as a part of many genetic syndromes. So this may be one of the defect in multiple defects in a baby. What are the symptoms of an atrial septal defect? Now atrial septal defect characteristically may be asymptomatic. So it is one of those heart defects that may go undetected for several years. The reason for this is two. One is it usually doesn't cause any symptoms. The reason being there is not a lot of hemodynamic abnormalities in an ASD. Yes, there is a hole. The blood from left atrium goes to the right atrium and increased flow to the lung is there because, but because the pressure in the lung is not elevated, these children often don't have the wetness in the lungs or increased pressure in the lungs that we see with a ventricular septal defect. So ASD is known to be asymptomatic for several years. Now it may be picked up in, in children usually by an abnormal auscultation by a pediatrician or by a uh, other, other doctors. So we hear an abnormal uh, second heart sound in an atrial septal defect and it is associated with a murmur which is because of increased blood flow along the pulmonary valve. So an abnormal exam is usually the reason for detecting an atrial septal defect. Now uh, mind you these physical exam findings can also be subtle and many children and teenagers may go undetected even though they have been to the doctor multiple times because the examination findings are subtle. So we do get sometimes adults sent for atrial septal defect which was recently detected which can happen. So we see ASDs in all the age groups right from infancy to adulthood. So symptoms when present in some of them can be difficulty breathing. Again, this is usually seen in older age groups and sometimes in the older um, adults, we may also see what we call abnormal rhythms. So they may, be, they may be abnormal rhythms generated in the enlarged right side of the heart and they present with palpitations. Now in advanced cases of atrial septal defect, which goes undetected like in the 30s and 40s, because the hole has been there for a long time and the lung has been exposed to increased blood flow over the years, the lung may develop some changes, what we call pulmonary vascular disease. When this disease occurs and there's pulmonary hypertension, then those patients can also develop shortness of breath, sometimes chest pain and again some palpitations. So these are some of the ways how an atrial septal defect may get picked up. Thank you.